something magical is being created in the deserts of Southern California. My name is Chelsea Sphere, and this is our story. The story of Flowbox. Flowbox is a unique performance troupe and circus art collective in the Palm Springs, California area. Since 2011, Flowbox has been dazzling audiences at events all across the Coachella Valley and beyond. But what does it truly take to build a grassroots circus from the ground up? Let's find out. Uh, it's nine o'clock and we're just getting started. <sighs> Hello there. Are you excited? We're excited. My name is Jenna, Jenna H2O, and um, who am I? From the time I was about eight years old, I knew something had to be done. Other people needed to have the opportunity to learn fun and useful skills in a community environment that didn't cost an arm and a leg. So most of my life has been focused primarily on learning new skills, sharing them with others, teaching them, performing them, and community building. I decided to settle into Palm Springs and try to make it happen. Uh, I want to change the world, I'm going to have to start. So I moved and started immediately. I rented a warehouse. I found a friend of mine, my dear friend Chelsea. She decided to move in. I only, oh, had only had the place, you know, a few weeks and she was on board uh, and things started moving from there. My name is Zach, Zach Fly, verb or adjective, I guess that would depend on who you ask. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, but I came out here about eight years ago to the Coachella Valley and um, had always been very exuberant, outgoing social butterfly. I had no outlet for that. Um, and when I met Jenna H2O and Chelsea Spear, um, it was very enticing. It, it kind of gave me that platform and wrote me into a, a, a part of life that I had not really been familiar with, performance art. When people see actual circus performance being performed in front of them, when they see people juggling or spinning a hula hoop, it gives them a renewed 
inspiration to be able to do something like that themselves. When you say circus to me, I think family. I think people coming together, supporting each other and doing what they love. And typically circus, you're close. You do some things that require a lot of trust. You put yourself out there pretending to be these different characters. So you have this kind of vulnerability that you slowly start to exposed to these people and it forms these bonds that are deeper than any that you can do you know just working next to someone in a cubicle <laughs> So some of the values that Flowbox upholds that we try to communicate through our performing arts would be things like family, you know, persistence, never giving up, love. Our group deeply values the environment. We value community. We value good food. We value physical activity. We value learning and furthering our knowledge. We value trust between people. We value laughter. We value silliness. We value the same types of uh, things that you would see in a good family. So, are you guys excited? I'm so nervous about butterflies. <laughs> Do something silly. Do something silly. Like put on fake eye putting on fake eyelashes Hold on. is pretty silly. How about around here? Smearing poison all over our faces. <laughs> <laughs> In a culture like the one we live in today, where conformity is overwhelmingly the norm, what the jester as a character has done for us is create an outlet. As Flowbox portrays the jester, we also get to get away with a lot of things that the normal average Joe wouldn't be able to get away with. And that has been the case in dealing with very stern corporate people that take themselves a little bit too seriously. We kind of get away with poking fun at some of that stuff and, and kind of bring them out of their comfort zone to get that crowd reaction. As we continued to put the group together, we actually started researching jesters a little bit, and we also started to find information about the sacred clown. The sacred clown represents both good and evil, dark and light, 
The sacred clown can play both sides and show an audience or another person that there are always two sides to the coin and can help to bridge the gap and allow compassion to form for each side. The great thing about the jester is if we mess up or drop a prop or whatever goes wrong, we can always roll with it and be silly and have fun and it all fits in perfectly with the character. Growing this little circus from a seedling to what it has turned into today has been an amazing journey. So much fun. It hasn't all been easy though, let me tell you. <laughs> We've had our fair share of challenges, blood, sweat, and tears shed along the way. I have gained so much patience. <sighs> so much patience. Oh my god, Jen. We have to try that over again. I never knew I needed so much patience. We're about to run out of blue. At the very end of the project. I need more. The night before the event. I need more. Jen needs more. The pressure's on. You're constantly wondering, are they showing up? What are they going to be doing when they are here? Is it going to go well? Are we going to be on task? Are we going to be off task? Is everyone going to have an on day? Are we going to have an off day? Am I going to have an on day? Am I going to have an off day? Where are we going to practice? <laughs> it hasn't all been fun and games, that's for sure. We're, just, we're trying to, no, we're trying to do too much. Okay, all right, no prop. No prop. Still working on the costumes day of. Still working on the costumes. <laughs> half hour before showtime. This is the bathroom. We are currently hot gluing. Okay, so some of the other challenges that we face as a group, specifically with the, the core structure, has been, um, the fluctuation between personal relationships and uh, professional relationships. Jenna H2O is a very dear friend of mine um, and we have a lot of fun together, but to switch back and forth between the role of friendship and the role of now I'm being directed on stage um, has proven to be quite the challenge. You're talking about people not agreeing with each other, having different opinions, having a different intention going into the performance, what they want to represent, how they want to be represented. Sometimes you have more of a choice. Sometimes you have to follow the director. We are definitely not perfect. We make mistakes. Sometimes we make a lot of mistakes, but you know what? That's how we learn. We truly grow outside of our comfort zones. What I feel like Flowbox aims to do is to restore our childlike sense of wonder and enjoyment of the world. We aim to make people smile. We're passionate about sharing our art with others so that they may discover the creativity within themselves. And we are just getting started.
That was a little bit ridiculous. We're gonna have fun watching that. I think we're still rolling. I didn't stop. Yeah.